before we start, please click on the notification bell and click the like button. Also subscribe to this channel for more learning videos. In Euprobois lesson, you have learned the comparison of the relative wavelengths of different types of electromagnetic waves. In this lesson, it is now the time for you to learn about the different applications of each electromagnetic wave, which are essential in our daily living. This will make you to value the concepts behind why things works. Do you wonder how we can watch our favorite known time shows or news in our TV? How we can tune in with our preferred FM radio stations? Well, thanks to Radio Wave. In our previous lesson, you had learned that radio waves have the longest wavelength among M waves and has the fewest frequency and energy at the same time. Therefore, it is used to transmit signal in radio communication and broadcasting. The figure shows how signals are produced and transmitted through radio waves. The first part is when the broadcaster uses a microphone. Microphone converts the sound waves to audio frequency signals. An electrical signal and acts as receptors. The audio frequency of signals will now go to a modulator. At the same time, the radio frequency oscillator will produce radio frequency carrier and will also go to the modulator. Once the up signals and frequency carrier waves reach the modulator, those two will be transformed into an appropriate modulated carrier waves through the process of amplitude modulation or frequency modulation. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the radio waves RF carrier changes to match that of the audio frequency signal. This is used in standard broadcasting because it can be sent over long distances. Very high frequency waves provide a higher quality broadcasting including stereo sound. In this process, instead of the amplitude of the RF carrier, it is the frequency of the waves that changes to match that of the signal. This is called frequency modulation. After the modulation process, the modulated carrier wave will be sent to an amplifier that will magnify its energy. The amplifier modulated carrier wave is then sent to the transmitting antenna. The changing current in the antenna generates radio waves that travel in all directions. The ionosphere helps the radio waves to bounce back radio waves and will be accepted by receiving antenna. Once the radio waves reach the receiving antenna, a tuner circuit selects the frequency of the station they see red. The received signal will now be sent to select the modulator which will get the information. The up signal from the modulated carrier waves. It will be sent to the amplifier to increase its energy and will be transported to a speaker that will convert it to the original sound. If you will notice, upon reaching the receiving antenna, processes are the reverse process of the production of modulated carrier wave. It will be sent to the amplifier to increase its energy and will be transported to a speaker that will convert it to the original sound. If you will notice, upon reaching the receiving antenna, processes are the reverse process of the production of modulated carrier wave. Let's watch the video of the other practical applications of the different regions of electromagnetic waves. Now, let us learn about the uses of electromagnetic waves. Uses of electromagnetic waves. The visible region of electromagnetic waves is to the visibility and sensation to the vision of our eyes. The information about the composition of matter of the sun and distant stars can be found by its emitted visible light. Infrared radiations are also used in the application of treatment in physiotherapy. Infrared radiations are also used to capture photographs of objects in darkness. Microwaves are used in satellite communications. Microwaves are used in transmission of telephonic conversation. Microwaves are used in telemetry and microwave ovens. Microwaves are used in 
radar that is radio direction and ranging radio waves are used in radio astronomy mapping of the radio emissions is called as radio astronomy as radio waves can travel longer distances it can provide information from extraterrestrial sources even radio waves can also provide information about universe which is not possible with optical telescope ultraviolet radiations are used in aerosol sprays and refrigerator equipment hard x-rays which are with short wavelength are used to determine the structure of materials hard x-rays are used in testing materials in industry soft x-rays which are with longer wavelength can penetrate into soft tissues of human body easily hence these are used in the medical diagnosis called as radiography soft x-rays are also used to cure some diseases thus this method of treatment is called as radiotherapy gamma rays also have shorter wavelength but they are able to penetrate easily and these rays are used in the cancer treatment here are some additional applications of electromagnetic waves Let's do the learning task number 1. Match the equipment in column A with its proper function in column B. Learning task number 2. Using the words inside the box, complete the flowchart showing the processes of the radio broadcasting and communication. Learning task number 3. Choose one of the applications of microwaves and make a short comic strip on how it uses microwaves to do a certain function. Learning task number 4. Classify in which type electromagnetic wave corresponds with the following applications. Write it down in the correct column in the table.
Let's do learning task 5. 1. Which of the following is the correct application of radio waves? A. Camera autofocus. B. Radio broadcasting. C. Diagnosis of bone fracture. D. Sterilization of medical instruments. Answer. B. Radio broadcasting. Which band of frequency is suitable for communication over great distance? A. Low frequency B. Medium frequency C. Very low frequency D. Extremely low frequency Answer. A. Low frequency 3. All of these are uses of microwaves except A. Radar B. Cooking food. C. Using remotes. D. Using cell phones. Answer. C. Using remote. 4. What vibrates inside the food to make friction? A. Air. B. Electrons. C. Sugar. D. Water. Answer. D. Water. 5. Which of the following is considered as the application of infrared waves? A. Camera autofocus. B. Diagnosis of bone fracture. C. Radio broadcasting. D. Sterilization of medical instrument. Answer. A. Camera autofocus. 6. How does UV light exhibit its germicidal effects? A. Kills bacteria and viruses. B. Heats up the bacteria and viruses. C. Disrupts the reproductive abilities of bacteria and viruses. D. Interferes with the respiratory processes of bacteria and viruses. Answer. A. Kills bacteria and viruses. 7. That ends our lesson for today. Please click the like button and the notification bell. Also subscribe to this channel for more learning video updates.